Are you ready with your pen and paper? Okay. Let's do something very simple. Let's calculate answer for 71 plus 71 plus 71. The answer is 213, right? What does it mean? Say, I deposit 71 rupees every day in my piggy bank for next 3 days. Then after 3rd day, I will have 213 rupees, right? Here, 71 is repeatedly added 3 times. In mathematics, we have a quicker method to do this, namely multiplication. This sign is used for multiplication. So, instead of adding 71 3 times, I can multiply 71 by 3. Let's see how did we do that. What do we mean by 71? It is nothing but 70 plus 1, right? You know that this is called as expanded form of 71. That means we can multiply 1 by 3 and then 70 by 3 and add these two answers. Easy? Now, how do we do it vertically? 71 multiplied by 3 is equal to 213. Now, if I deposit 75 rupees every day for 58 days, I will have to add 75 58 times, right? Will that be an easy and quick task? No, certainly not. In mathematics, we have a quicker method to do this. Yes, repeated addition is nothing but multiplication. So, instead of adding 75 58 times, I can multiply 75 by 58 or I can multiply 58 by 75. I will get the same answer, right? Let's see how did we do that. What do we mean by 75? It is nothing but 70 plus 5. And similarly, 58 means 50 plus 8, right? You know that these are called as expanded forms of these numbers. Now, let's see. How do we do it for 75 multiplied by 58? It means we are adding 75 8 times and again 50 times more. That means we can multiply 75 by 8 and then 75 by 50 and add these two answers. Easy? Now, how do we do it vertically? First, we multiply 75 by 8. Here, again first we multiply 5 by 8 to get 40. Hence, we write 0 in the units place and 4 tenths are carried over. Next, we multiplied 7 tenths by 8. We get 56 tenths in which we added 4 tenths which were carried forwarded to get 60 tenths that is 600. Before moving ahead, as we have finished multiplying by 8, we will strike off all the carryovers generated after multiplying by 8 to avoid further calculation mistakes. Now we multiply 75 by 50, which means 5 multiplied by 50 plus 70 multiplied by 50, which is equal to 3750. Have you noticed that the answer 3750 has a zero in its units place? Yes, this is because we have multiplied 75 by 50. So this zero is due to multiplication by 50, that is 5 times 10. So the answer is written from tens place and zero is written in units place. So before we multiply 75 by 50, we write a 0 at the units place. Then we simply multiply 75 by 5. Now let's do it. When 5 is multiplied by 5, we get answer as 25. So we write 5 at the tens place and take 2 tens as the carryover. Now 
we multiply 7 by 5 to get the answer as 35 in which we added the carryover 2 to get the answer as 37. So, we write 7 at the 100th place and 3 at 1000th place. Then we add these two answers to get the final answer as 4350. It is very important to note here that even in case of above multiplication of a two digit number by another two digit number, every time we multiply two single digit numbers and if the product is 10 or more, we carry over one tens and so on. That means the process of multiplication remains the same even in case of increase in the number of digits of the two numbers. What a relief! Super easy, right? Let's take another example. 498 multiplied by 764. It means we are adding 498 4 times and again 60 times more and 700 times even more. That means we can multiply 498 by 4 and then 498 by 60 and then 498 by 700. Lastly, add these three answers just same as we did in our last example. Easy? Now, how do we do it vertically? First, we multiply 498 by 4 to get the answer 1992. You can see here. Now, we multiply 498 by 60. So, before we multiply 498 by 60, we write a 0 at the units place. This 0 is because we are multiplying by 60. Then, we simply multiply 498 by 6. We get the answer as 29,880. Now, we multiply 498 by 700. So, before we multiply 498 by 700, we write two zeros. First at the units place and second at the hundredth place. These two zeros are because we are multiplying by 700. Then we simply multiply 498 by 7. We get the answer as 3,48,600. Then we add these three answers to get the final answer as 3,80,472. Similarly, we can multiply a four digit number by a three digit number also. What if we multiply 498 by 3456 instead of multiplying 3456 by 498? Will they have same answer? Yes, they will. Just try out and let us know even if the answers are same what additional thing you had to do while multiplying 498 by 3456? Come on, let's try out another sum. Say, 4098 multiplied by 340. It's very simple. 4098 multiplied by 340 is equal to 4098 multiplied by 34 multiplied by 10. Why so? Because 340 is equal to 34 multiplied by 10, right? So, while multiplying 4098 by 340, we can simply multiply by 34 first and then multiply this final answer by 10 by just appending the 0 to the answer. Let's do it quickly. First, we will multiply 4098 by 4 and we get answer as 16392. Then, we multiply 4098 by 30 and we get answer as 1,22,940. Now, we add these two answers to get the answer as 
39,332. Let's not forget that we still need to multiply 1,39,332 by 10. What do we do? Yes, we simply append this with a zero. So, our final answer is 13,93,320. Got it? What did we learn? Multiplication is repeated addition. While multiplying a number, multiplicant, by another number, multiplier, we use expanded form of the multiplier and then multiply. In each step, we multiply two single digit numbers. Whenever the product is greater than 10, there is a carryover. Carryover should be added to get the correct answer. That means the process of multiplication remains the same even in case of increase in the number of digits of the two numbers. Do it yourself. Now something interesting. While correcting fifth standard papers, I came across a multiplication sum done by a student and there were a few mistakes. Let me share that example with you. Come on, try out yourself. What is your answer? When I tried doing it, I solved it this way. Have you got the same mistakes as I got? 